Good day, ma'am. Now we're going to recite the Universal De Declaration of Human Rights from Article 1 to Article 30. Article 1. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with a reason and concise and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Then, Article 2. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and the freedoms set forth in this declaration without distinction of any kind such as a race, color, sex, language, religion, and then political and other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or other status. Furthermore, no distinction shall be made on the basis of the political, jurisdictional, or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs, whether it be independent, trust, non-self-governing, um, or under any other limitation of sovereignty. Then, Article 3. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of a person. Article 4. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in their forms. Article 5. No one shall be subjected to the torture or to the cruel, I cruel pala, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. Article 6. Everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. Then, the Article 7 is... Article 7... Article 7 is... All are equal before the law and are entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. All are entitled to equal protection against any discrimination in violation of this declaration and against any incitement to such discrimination. Then the Article 8 is Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by the competent, competent national tribunals for acts violating the fundamental rights granted him by the by the constitution or by law. Then the Article 9 is, no one shall be subjected. No one shall be, no one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. Then Article 10 is. Article 10. Article 10 is, everyone is entitled in full equality to a fair and public hearing by an independent and impartial tribunal and then in the determination of his rights and obligations and of any criminal charge against him then article 11 article 11 is everyone charged with a penal offense has the right to be first presumed has the right to be presumed innocence innocent until proven guilty according to the law in a public trial at which he has he has he, he has he has had all the guarantees necessary for the for his offense first defense pala section section 1 is no one shall be held i section 2 no one shall be held guilty no one shall be held guilty of any final offense on the account of any act or omission which did not constitute a final offense. A final offense. A final offense. 
under national or international law. At the time when it was committed, nor shall be a heavier penalty be imposed than the than the one that was applicable. At the time the final offense was committed. Article 12. Then Article 12 is Article 12. Article 12 is no one shall be subjected to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home, or correspondence, nor to the attacks upon his honor and reputation. Everyone has the right to the protection of the law against such as interference or attacks. Mga atake. Then, Article 13. Article 13. Uh, yeah. Article 13, everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. Section 2, under Article 13 is, everyone has the right to live in a country including his own and return to, and return to his country. Then, Article 14. Article 14 is, everyone has the right to seek and to enjoy in other countries in other countries asylum from from persecution then under this is we have section 2 this might how oh, this right may not be invoked in a case of persecutions genuinely arising from from non-political crimes or from acts from uh, from uh, from acts contrary to the purposes and principles of the United Nations then article 15 is everyone has the right to nationality and section 2 is under this un under article 15 is no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his nationality nor denied the right to change his nationality then after article 15 we have article 16 which is article 16 is men and women men and women of full age without any limitation due, due to race nationality or religion have the right to marry and to found a family they are entitled to equal right as to marriage during marriage and his and its dissolution marriage shall be entered into only with the free and fully consent consent of intending spouses the family is the natural and fundamental group fundamental group unit of society so this is under article 15 section 3 which is, it talks about that family is the natural and fundamental group unit of society and and is entitled to pro protection by society and the state. Then we have Article 17. Article 17 is, everyone has the right to own property alone as well as in association with others. So, Section 2 under this article no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property then article 18 everyone has the right to freedom of thought conscience and religion this right includes freedom to change his religion or belief and freedom either alone or in community with others and in public or private to manifest his religion or belief in teaching, practice worship, and observance. Then, after Article 18, we have Article 19. Article 19 is, everyone has the right to freedom of opinion, opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to, to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas 
through any media and regardless of fronters. Then we have Article 20. Article 20 is everyone has the right to freedom of peacefully assembly and association. Under Article 20, we have Section 2. No one, no one may be compelled to belong to an association. Then we have Article 21. Article 21 is everyone has the right to take part in the government of his country. Then direct, directly or through freely chosen representatives. Everyone has the right of equal access to the public service in his country. Then we have section 3. It states that the will of the people shall be basis of the authority of government. This will this shall be expressed in periodic and genuine elections which shall be universal and equal suffrage and shall be held by secret vote or 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 equivalent or equivalent pre voting procedures then article 22 article 22 is as a member of the society has the right to social security and it is in, and is entitled to realization through national effort and international cooperation and in accordance with the organization and in, and, and in accordance with the organization and resources of each state state of the economic social and cultural rights indispensable for his dignity and the pre-development of his personality then we have article 23 everyone has the right to work to free choice of employment to just and favorable conditions of work and to protection against unemployment everyone without any discrimination has the right to equal pay for equal work Everyone who works has the right to ju to just and pe pe to just and to just and favorable re remuneration, ensuring for himself and his family an existence worthy of the human dignity, and supplemented if necessary by other means of social protection. Then, we have section 4. Everyone has the right to form and to join trade un unions for the protection of his in interests. Then, after Article 23, we have Article 24. Article 24 is everyone has the right to rest and leisure, including res res reasonable limitations of working hours and periodic holidays with pay. Then Article 25. Article 25 is everyone has the right to standard of living adequate for the health of being and being of himself and of his family, including food, including food, clothing, clothing housing, and medical care, and necessary social services, and the right to security. In the event of unemployment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age, or other lack of livelihood, in circumstances beyond his control. Then we have our section 2. Motherhood and childhood are entitled, are entitled to special, are entitled... Are entitled, 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 entitled to special, entitled, entitled, entitled to special care and assistance, 
or children whether born in or out of wedlock shall be enjoy the same social protection. Then Article 25. Everyone ah uh, hindi rin pala. Article tapos na Article 26. Article 26 is everyone has the right to education. Education shall be free at least in the elementary and fundamental stages. Elementary education shall be compulsory, compulsory, technical and professional education shall be made generally available and higher education shall be equally accessible to all the basis of merit. Education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to the straightening of respect for human, for human rights and fundamental freedoms. It shall promote understanding, tolerance, and friendship among all nations, racial or religions religious groups and shall further the activities of the United Nations for the maintenance of the peace. We have, we have section 3 is parents have the prior right to choose the kind of education that shall be given to the to their children. Then we have article 27 section 1 Excuse me, sorry. Everyone has the right. Everyone has the right freely to participate in the cultural life, cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts, and to share in scientific advancement of its benefits. Everyone has the right to the protection of the moral and material interest of the material interest resulting from any scientific literary or artistic production of which he is he is the he is the author he is the author then article 28 is everyone is entitled to a social and international order in which the rights and freedoms set forth in his declaration can declaration declaration can be fully realized Then, we have Article 29, Section 1. Everyone has the duties to the community in which alone and free, free and free and full development of his personality is possible. Then, we have Section 2 is, in the exercise of his rights and freedoms, everyone shall be subject only to such limitations as are determined by law solely for the purpose of securing due recognition and respect for the rights for the rights for the rights and freedoms of others others act and meeting the just requirements of morality of morality public order and the general welfare in a demo democratic society. Then we have section 3. State does these rights and freedoms in no case be exercised contrary to the four purposes and principles of the United Nations. Then lastly is article 30 of Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state group or person any right to engage in any activity or to perform any act m at the destruction of any of the rights and freedoms sit port herein that could be all thank you